All right, so <clears throat> told you we get one more hike in here at the uh, Sunny Hill Restoration Area. We'll, maybe one day we'll try to attack that south uh, trail, but that was pretty rough. But so we're at 13100 Southeast 182nd Avenue Road, gate 4308. Now, if you recall in a previous video, we've been here before, but what I want to investigate <clears throat> is... Uh, because I haven't done the, the middle section of the uh, the river trail. And I want to investigate if this is going to get me over to the uh, the river trail. You can see somebody's here working. Uh, so I'll probably uh, not get any video for a while until... Because uh, uh, we've got that one road that cuts over to the, uh, the river trail. And then uh, you could bring a mountain bike and get that in. Yeah, I never understood what these piles of stuff is right here, other than maybe a dumping ground of some sort. But let's uh, let's get going. Um, if I do, uh, if we do get to that middle road pretty quick, uh, that'll be good because that means that uh, we can get in the last portion of Sunny Hill, and I think we will have done it all except for the south track, and we got some of that. So let's get going. Now I'm not going to get too close because they are swarming, but those are beehives. And uh, on the Chernobyl Trail, they roped off an area there, and they had beehives in there for a while. But the last time I hiked it, I don't know, they took out the beehives, but I just thought I'd get this on the video. Uh, but uh, I don't want to get too close, man. I just had one go right by me. Look at them swarming, man. It's kind of a cold day here in Florida. Uh, probably in the 50s, maybe, or uh, low 60s. Um, so... I, I guess that gets them pretty active, huh? <laughs> All right, let's 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 stay the heck away from them. So, forgot to describe where I'm at. Okay, we're past the north entrance uh, quite quite a ways. This is like, almost look at this as like the second uh, south. But there's one more entrance up here further down the road. And uh, we've hiked this before. This just goes actually up to that uh, entrance. So, I'm I'm just continuing to head out towards the uh the prairie here and uh the question that i don't have the answer to and we'll find out today hopefully is do you go right or do you go left <laughs> to, to get to that crossroad to get over to the uh the uh, Oklahoma river uh, i don't know because it, it, it was a, it's a bit of a drive coming down the uh the road from from the uh, north entrance to here so i'm wondering if i've passed that uh, that that road to get across, and uh, and that means I would need to take a right. But uh, let's let's find out on the video here. I'm gonna try uh, I'm gonna try going left and see what I see. Uh, if nothing else, maybe we'll get to the tower, and then then I guess what I'll have to do is just hike back and then go right. So let's see what we got. You know, I take that back. I think I recognize this from. The last time we were here, and if I'm right, the road could be right over here. There goes another bee. So let's go right and see if this gets us over to that road. And then one day we can come back and mountain bike this uh, and get a get the final video up by, by the river because it's only the middle section of the uh, of the trail that I have not done. So let's let's see if I'm right. All right. Oh, I forgot to tell you why I'm here instead of at the Yearling Trail. Because 101, it is a cold day. And, you know, here at Sunny Hill, there's no shade. So I wanted to be out in the sunlight because uh, I knew that here I wouldn't have any shade. Uh, and number two, uh, my wife came and uh, took back the dog today. And because uh, I can't leave him alone for long periods of time. So now we can... Uh, you know, maybe, and so I, it was got too late in the day to go all the way out to the yearly. That's a long drive for me. And uh, so let's just keep going on this trail. I'm hoping I made the right decision here. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Look, you see the white things over here? That's the road. All right. So if you come down to the second entrance, you can uh, just take a right coming out of the, the, uh, the chute there. And then the road will take you across. That way you don't have to uh, hike or bike so far. And then uh, and then we'll get over to the river and we'll hike some of that. And that, that'll be all new 
virgin territory. Good enough. Check out the cranes. Look at the size of those birds. Holy moly. I'll see how close I can get before they fly away. I always feel bad when I scare them, but I, I just happen to be heading in their direction. Look at them. They still haven't noticed me. We're getting pretty close. I think they'll take off here in just a second. Well, they, boy, we're getting really close. Now they're getting kind of mad. Now listen to them. There they go. I guess I'll just try to give them a, a berth to the side here. Doesn't that sound like a prehistoric dinosaur? <laughs> yeah. I like in the, in the movie Jurassic Park when the raptors were making noise. Look at how close I am to them. I cannot believe I'm getting this on the video. Thank God. This is cool. Well, I'm, I'm going to let them go. All right. So here's the road. Uh, this is where we came up uh, the last time we were here. That's why I said I was recognizing it. So we're going to head over to the river and uh, I'll make a right because we biked past this road the last time I was here. And uh, and then about a mile down, I'll cut cut the video on and just show you what the, the last portion of the uh, the river trail that we haven't hiked before. And that'll be it for the video today. Kind of a short one. Uh, other than getting the bird, unless I see something else, uh, like birds like that or something. Maybe a gator. Maybe we'll get a gator on the video today. You never know. Boy, we're getting the birds today, aren't we? There he is, sitting right down there. I was going to take a video anyway, because uh, we're going to walk out on this dock and get you a, a view. You've seen this before, but this is the prairie. And I put the camera way up last time, but I'm just going to walk out here today. And I was hoping I might see something down here in the water, but I don't see anything today. But that's what it looks like. Hmm. So, okay, since you've already had said, seen this on a video, we're going to walk over. I'm going to get these white things. I can't remember what that is. I, I'm just don't understand why they're out here in the middle of nowhere <laughs> you know it's, it's just uh it's pretty cool and then uh, the next video will be uh, about a mile down the river trail boy i tell you even uh even on a cool day with that sun beating down on you man because there's no shade whatsoever you know but wouldn't this be a this would be a heck of a mountain good mountain bike ride right here you know just coming down this road and then uh and then moving you know Getting, getting up by the river and then just mountain biking down the, the river for a ways and then, you know. So that's exactly what the, my next uh, adventure, well not my next, I've got to do the yearling trail. Uh, some, maybe tomorrow or the next day because, uh, uh, you know, like I said, you got to get up early and uh, and that's a long drive to get there. And uh, anyway, so this is um, a aluminum sulfate. Okay, I don't know why that's out here in the middle of nowhere. Doesn't make sense to me. All right. So there's something big in here. But I guess he's, I'm pretty sure it's probably a gator. But I can't, uh, I don't see anything. I, you, could, you could hear him, but he's quit moving. You know, they, a lot of times they'll just sit there and wait for the prey to come to them. Oh, well, sorry I didn't get him on the video. That would have been cool. But you, when I walked past him, boy, you heard him. You heard him, that's for sure. So we're just uh, continuing up this road uh, to get to the river. And uh, the next video, uh, like I said, uh, unless I see something, it'll be, be about a mile down on the, on the river trail just to show you what it looks like. And then, like, like I said, someday we'll come back here and mountain bike this whole, as much as we can, you know. I'm, I'm an old fart, you know. I can't... Uh, can't do more than you know maybe three hours mountain biking i did five hours the other day just riding a paved trail that was pretty good for me uh so and of course you know out here there are no bathrooms <laughs> you're not gonna find a, a bathroom at sunny hill that's for doggone sure but it is beautiful look at that well there's another burn check them out i'm always surprised i'm the only person here 
The only person here. Huh, interesting. So I thought I'd orient you here real quick. Uh, so we just came down that uh, that road there. That's the second entrance, uh, well, from north. And, you know, the next entrance up from the north entrance. I mean, there's one more, but you can't hike it. It's just a fire break. But uh, this is this is where we mountain bike down. Now, this is the river. I call it the river trail, river road, I guess you would call it. And that's going to take you up to the Blue House entrance. Okay, now over here, well, there's a bird flying. Over here, up, up from the second entrance, there's a third entrance where you just basically hike with the cattle over to the road that comes down to the tower, which is if we made a left when we came in, that would have just taken us up to the tower. Um, so, but anyway, so I just wanted to orient you on... on the trail here so I'm just gonna hike down by the river uh, for a ways uh, I guess I'll get that dock I think I got it on the last video and uh, we'll just keep keep going maybe we'll see uh, like another place to you know because every now and then I find another hike that I don't expect but I, I think this is it I think I think we're done with Sunny Hill uh, I don't see where like I said other than the south trail so uh, peace out and stay free so I know you can't see it. I, I should have got it on the video. That that guy was flying low. It looked like a it looked like one of the fighters during World War II, man. It was cool. And I had a bird that I was gonna show you, but he uh he escaped. He was right ahead of me. But uh I see the power lines way down there. So when we come back, because that second dock up there is where I stopped uh mountain biking the last time I was here. And I'm just gonna hike up there and uh get at least you know another quarter mile past it and and that'll be virgin territory and that should be the last clip for the day i just wish i'd gotten that plane man that was really cool because you could hear him coming behind you and i was like where i thought it was a boat <laughs> you know i didn't know it was a plane that's that's why oh well so i'm just getting this on the video because maybe that was a hole and they filled it in and that's why that stick is there but this is as far as we've uh, come on this trail. You can see a guy down here fishing, but basically it's just a, a long road. Boy, it looks like something's on fire back there. Look at that. Wow. I wonder what that is. Huh. But uh, nothing much to see. Just kind of hiking down a grassy road here. Um, I think I'm going to turn around at that second dock up there. It's getting getting to be pretty late in the day. I've been hiking for quite some time, but uh, it's, okay. it's more of an exercise day than a video type of day. But I did, you know, at least we did find out that you can take that road across and uh, come back and mountain bike the, uh, the middle part of the trail here, which uh, I haven't done. And, uh, and that'll, be, that, that'll be it for Sunny Hill. Like, kind of a, a nostalgic moment for me. You know, I've been hiking around here for almost a year because <laughs> because it is massive you know i mean it is massive and uh we've done we've done just about every inch of it i think so uh, anyway this is a virgin territory just a little bit uh, same old same old all right so i thought i'd get the dock on the video this is where i was going to turn around got the picnic table and the second level there you don't see it a lot of the docks uh, don't have a second level like that. But look here, I might be like a little road off to the right up here. I can't tell from this distance, so I'm gonna hike up there and see if it's the road that I hiked down to get to the uh, Baptist Church. That means that's it, we've, we've done all of Sunny Hill. Um, so, but I'm not sure if that's, that's that road or a different road, so let's see what we find up here. Well, we are indeed in virgin territory. I have never hiked this because we've never been on this portion of the trail. It's uh well it's 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 quite beautiful really. I mean who would have thought that you'd come up to another trail here at Sunny Hill kind of kind of swampy off to the right here. And uh well I'll just go a ways down here. Gosh I'm 
been hiking for a long time. <laughs> I, would, I hate it when I find something new because then you then the, my curiosity gets the best of me and I want to go check it out, you know. But uh, this is why you, uh, I always hike before I mountain bike because what you'd have to do is just leave your, well, for me, I'd leave the bike back there because uh, you could mountain bike this, I suppose. But uh, I wonder, you know, it, it's, uh, this whole place is a treasure for sure. Let's just keep going. Well, I don't know if I'm coming to the end here, but man, oh man, back in the day when I used to backpack, this would be a hell of a campsite right here. And I mean, you'd be, you'd be right in the heart of the uh, Sunny Hill Restoration area. But uh, oh, there's some trash on the ground, so obviously people have been back here. I don't know what this big uh, pipe in the left up here is. But this will be it for the day if this uh, dead ends, which I think it is. And, uh, and then I'm just going to hike on back. And uh, we'll get the mantra uh, when we get to the road up there. But uh, yeah, yeah, it's always the, kind of the weird stuff, you know, because you get out and you're hiking and you're going like, well, what in the world would that be doing right there? And why why would they drag it all the way back here? You know, years, years ago, obviously. But yeah, look, it's... Uh, it's dead ending right here in the swamp. So this is probably a good place where people come with the horses and just hang out for a while. There is a sign over here. I'm going to see what that says. Probably a boundary sign. Well, I guess the water authority probably comes back here because there's a, uh, a measure of uh, how deep the water is. And then this says St. John's River Water Management District Benchmark. Please do not disturb. So... I don't know who's going to hike out into the swamp to, to, to disturb it, but uh, you never know. The Florida man, Florida man. All right, that's it for today. I'm glad we got this little side road in. It's pretty cool. It was a, a definite uh, perfect finish to the day to get something completely new and just get off of the, the river road there. Um, so the next time I'll bring the mountain bike and... Uh, we know, you know, we stopped at this road and I can keep going until we get down to the other road that uh, heads over to the Baptist Church. So, alrighty, peace out. Stay free. So we got one more video. Because we haven't uh, bicycled that. I think I had to get, get down to the power lines. There's another bird flying. So uh, we'll mountain bike that someday. I'm just going to hike back at this point. You know, sometimes I just, things pop into my head. I've never understood why they cut this so wide. I mean, can you imagine the tractors on the side of that hill? Why not just let that grow in, you know? I don't see why they want to waste the gas cutting so much area. I mean, it's not like there's a herd of horses coming down the, the thing here. I mean, uh, I don't know. It just seems like a hell of a waste of gas. Even over here on the on the riverside, I mean, look how far they go down here. I mean, even for flooding management, uh, you would want to let that grow in a little bit. Just, uh, just me. Uh, if, you, if you have any uh, comments, just leave leave one below, and maybe you can explain that to me. Well, there's a first. I guess that's the uh, water authority heading uh, heading down there. So. First person I've seen all day. Let's keep going. So we're coming up on uh, seven cranes here. We'll have to see how close we get. I'll get another clip as soon as I get closer. All right, I'm getting pretty doggone close. I'm surprised they haven't taken off. Of course, they're as tall as I am. <laughs> Look at him. Look at the red on the head. Isn't that beautiful? There they go. Get these two right here. Well, we definitely got the birds today, didn't we? Look at that. Isn't that cool? Just moving along. There's this one over here. And then we got one more right here. Let's see how close we can get to him. 
There he goes. Love the way they move. Look at that. Kind of wild looking. All right. Let's get the other three. Fortunately, the other three uh, did what the birds usually do. They took off. So I'm going to get this. This wasn't here when I came down. I don't know why there's a steam shovel there. But let's get that on the video when I get up there. So there it is. I don't know why you would need that. I mean, you're not going to plow up the grass or maybe they've got something project that they're working on. I can't, I don't know where it would be, but luckily I've made it back to the, uh, the road. I am tired, man. That was a long hike and uh, I'm glad to see this. This means I, I got about another 20 minutes and I'll be back at the car. So on the way back, we got two more cranes. Let's see how close we can get. Well, not bad, huh? I expected them to fly off at any point. And I don't want to. I don't want to disturb them too much. Pretty cool. So I'm not going to put Muggly Mug on this video, but we'll do the mantra. You know, I'm wiped out, man. Just didn't have much energy today. But freedom, oh freedom, good live in the free Republican state of Florida, where we have no vaccine mandates, no mask requirements. No lockdowns, and we are free to come and do as we please under the great leadership of Governor DeSantis. If you're a Democrat, go to California, go to New York, go to uh, Illinois, Chicago, be a good place for you, but don't come to Florida. Peace out.